Hey guys, it's me, Kat. Sam's here. He just got back from the vet. So if you see his little um, band-aid, that's because um, they had to put him under to get his teeth clean. So he's totally fine. Don't worry. He loves you guys. He's just a little drugged up. So anyways, it is Sunday and it's my third week of Sample Sunday. Yay! Let's go over what I tested out last week and then I will tell you what I'll be testing out this week. So last week, I said I was going to be using the Fenty Beauty 290 because I've had um, some struggles with the color. I also tried the Fenty Beauty primer. My thoughts. Um, I only liked the foundation when I had the primer on. I didn't think the Fenty Beauty agreed with other primers that I had with my skin. So I didn't, ultimately I did not like it. So yeah, I did like the primer that it worked with the foundation, but the primer wasn't my favorite. So I'm gonna have to pass and I'm gonna pick some, I'm gonna try another foundation. And it, I, I noticed myself in the monitor, I noticed my face is dark. That's because the light is coming up from here and the hat is blocking it. But I wanna wear this hat because it's October and it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So, um, so I hope you guys don't mind. Anyways, uh, let's move on to the other things that I tried. The next thing I tried was the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. Um, I was only able to use it one time. There wasn't a lot or my hair was just really thick and coarse. It just absorbed it all. I felt like it worked really good, but I also feel like when I do a coconut hair mask, it works just as good. So um, will I be purchasing this? No. Um, do I love Briogeo? Yes, I just don't like this product. I mean, I did like it. I just won't, don't like it enough to buy it because my coconut hair oil masks work just as good. So the next thing I tried was this Sugar Lip Treat Treatment Perfecting Wand. It came in, let me show you that instead of just like, hey. Um, it came like this. It had a little wand. Can you guys see that? A little wand excuse my calluses and it had a little bit of lip treatment I used it like three or four times it's okay um, the wand I mean if you've done a lip scrub it always has those granular effects or like the sugar so you can just like feel it like rubbing the dead skin off this is just like excuse my nails kind of like the same action but it's in a wand as far as the product is concerned I wouldn't run out and buy this my friend here on YouTube Vanessa from hot mess now she said save the one and you can just use it with your other scrubbers which I totally could do but I'll probably lose this or my cat will find it and play with it so I I mean I can do make a D do it yourself or DIY lip scrub myself and then not have to worry about that and I also sometimes just I'll take my toothbrush and just rub the shit out of my lips that works too so was did this work absolutely am I gonna buy it no because I found I can have cheaper stuff and then the last thing was this magic night cream by Charlotte Tilbury I was really excited about this and I still think it smells so pretty and luxurious and it's like the epitome of like Hollywood glam and beautiful, but it didn't work for me. It was really sticky, if that makes sense. So I put it on at night and I just felt like it was on. It wasn't like it was greasy because I put on a lot of oils and like oiliness doesn't bother me. I actually like a lot of face oils. This felt like it was just on my skin and it felt sticky and tacky. Like it didn't absorb. Like I was trying to fall asleep and I couldn't fall asleep. And that's not good. So I don't know. I mean, I, look at how much I still have. So I don't know what to do with this. I mean, I could wait till it gets a little bit cooler here in LA because it's still kind of warm. Um, but I didn't like it. And I, I tried it like three times and it was, mm. sorry, Charlotte. I did like her magic cream for the day, but just not the night cream. Anyways, what am I going to try this week? 
I headed to Sephora and I got the YSL foundation in BD50 and B60. I forgot which one this was. I'll find out and um, I'll let you know. But this one was the medium coverage. I didn't get the full coverage one, the like the all wear or whatever it's called. I didn't get that one because I feel like my skin is in a place where it looks really good and I don't really need full coverage. So I thought I'd try something more medium coverage. So that's why I got these. Hopefully, I think these work. Um, they're nice. And then I'm gonna, I got this Diva Curl Build Up Buster Gentle Deep Cleansing Serum. I've never tried this brand before. I've never tried a, a hair serum, but I am was more curious more that it's a um, Build Up Buster because God knows how long it's been since I've done like a rinse. And I've done, I've tried um, an apple cider rinse. I think I did that like a couple months ago when I had heard about it on YouTube. One of my friends here, on, um, here, her name's Angel. She talked about it, so I tried it and it worked good. So I wanna try this, see how that works. The next thing I'm gonna try is A New Way to Peel by Dr. Dennis Gross. It's like this, it comes with two treatments and it's just like, I guess it's like a pad, like a Stridex pad, if you guys know what that I'm talking about. You can just wipe it off and we'll see how it goes. So there's two treatments, I'm excited about that. And I'm going to try this mask, what is this? Eye Contour Mask by Sicily. Hopefully, because it's only for the eyes, I can get a few doses out of it because you don't need a lot for your eyes. I mean, I have small eyes anyway, so. So yeah, that is, um, my sample Sunday, third week. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Please leave me in the comments if you've tried this YSL foundation and let me know your thoughts or let me know in the comments the next foundation I should try to get a sample of at Sephora. I am um, combination oily skin. I do have mature skin and I have textured skin. So if you think there's a certain foundation I should try in medium coverage, I'm happy to, to try to get that uh, sample especially if you have and it, also if you have like a uh, a primer that you think goes well with it let me know um, or if you like Fenty Beauty and there was a primer that you use that was not the Fenty Beauty primer let me know too because I, I, I kind of want to like the Fenty Beauty I like the price point anyways uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video let, um, or to ask you to leave the comments if you do leave a comment I I read it all. I try to get back to you as soon as I can. I love when you guys comment. I love it to interact with you guys. You guys, I love you guys. You guys are so much fun. Um, and until next time, me and Sam say take care.